unplanned lockdown, corruption in medical practices, 6 crore migrant families on road and starving, social distancing in shambles, COVID cases up 300 times since lockdown, and a government that remains completely silent. India has recorded its biggest single-day spike for the fourth consecutive day today with 7,000 new cases, taking the country's official total to 1,38,845 and making it amongst the 10 most affected countries in the world. Here's a look at how India is performing compared to the other nine countries. First and most apparent is the medical crisis. While the heads of other countries focused on testing, India was watching prime time. Russia is testing 60 people per thousand, whereas India is only testing two people out of thousand. India only spends 1.9 billion dollars on healthcare, whereas other countries like USA and Germany are spending more than 203 and 138 billion dollars on healthcare, respectively. It is not only health that the pandemic has taken toll on, the lockdown has grievously damaged employment-generating industries such as textiles, airlines, tourism and hospitality and the lockdown had an even greater impact on the informal sector, putting tens of millions of labourers, vendors and artisans out of work. In this time of great distress, Indians looked to the government for relief and assistance. They waited for weeks and months and in the end were left disappointed. The so-called stimulus package, amount to 10% of GDP, has turned out to be a cruel joke on the country. In reality, the package is not worth more than 0.91% in terms of fiscal stimulus. How can we, as a country, come through this extraordinary difficult period where the medical system is crumbling, the economy is in shambles, society is divided and fragile, and the government is growing increasingly authoritarian? We must stand up as a nation and urge the government to put aside politics and work for the betterment of the country.